Loki Season 2, Episode 5 Thoughts. This episode is called Science Slash Fiction. And uh, another episode I love, spoilers for everything MCU. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the second half of Strikers. And then there are some links to the videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. So let's dive into the episode. So yeah, Loki is still in the... I forget what they call it, but the, the room. But he is completely alone. And I really appreciate the emphasis on how alone he is and later in the episode he does say you know this is for selfish reasons he wants his friends back he really can't be alone again you know he spent so much of his life alone you know yeah there were people around but he was alone and sometimes that's much worse than being alone because you're like physically yeah there's no one around no he lived in Asgard you know we, we don't know exactly how many but clearly it's fairly heavily populated but no one wanted to be around him and now he has friends and yeah he time skips again i love the creepy lighting the it's it's fairly subtle but just you know some some blinking and and glowing and just yeah and I quite like the detail that, yeah, this the second time, he got a little further. You know, so yeah, he's still time-skipping like he was at the start of the, the season. But he is getting slightly better at controlling it. And the... Let's see. Because, yeah, you know, at, at first he, you know, he says hello and then he disappears. Then he comes back. And he goes over, picks up the book, and sees himself disappear behind him. So, yeah. You know, felt felt a lot like a video, you know, yeah. A video game and you're, you just realize, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so the second try, you get a little further. And, yeah, so... Um, the, the... We're witnessing the escape attempt... I guess I will call him Frank, because that's apparently his name in this version. You know, yeah, the, the, and, and Don's two children are just Don's child one and Don's child two. I mean, they, they have names, but okay. Um, and they are apparently actually brothers. Do they always play? Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Um, yes, so Frank is trying to, you know, escape Alcatraz. And, yeah, some really great attention to detail. I, I like that, you know, at first he's hiding under the the bed. So the, the light, you know, when as soon as it's passed, he can make a break for it. And I got to say, when we... You know, when when the time skipping took us to where jet skis, you know, well, actually, yeah, I guess we don't know if that is where jet skis are. Being. Anyway, there's there's a part with like an inflatable, you know, thing, and the the I I was like, wait, are they not gonna show the jet ski? Because it's you know we've been waiting for a while now to see. Owen Wilson on a jet ski, and this episode does deliver, so I really appreciate that. I was, I was a little worried there, and very cool seeing B fifteen as a doctor, and yeah, great rapport. You know, the the yeah, how do you talk a child out of doing something stupid and self destructive? You know, she yeah, and yeah. We go to, yeah, so he, he time skips again. And yeah, Mobius Don is selling jet skis. The thinking man's dirt bike. And yeah, just that, such such great stuff there. At first, it kind of made me uncomfortable, this thing of, oh, he just, you know, he refuses to talk to either of his sons when they call. Like, I feel like if you call your father at his workplace, during business hours that probably means there's something very wrong but 
you know, it, later in the episode, he does express that he does care about them. And... Let's see, then we have the... Um, yeah. Um, O.B. is a science fiction writer, and he's trying to buy his own books. Which is just, yeah, adorable. But but yeah, the the um, you know he's like no, no no don't worry about the the you know code thing just you know I'll I'll pay cash I don't I don't need the receipt you know and it's oh you're buying your own book and then the other one catch I told you not to do it it's just yeah and yeah as usual great scenes between Loki and Ob who's apparently DA in this uh, reality, and, yeah, the, the, um, there's some kind of funny stuff with Loki trying to time slip on purpose. Looked like Tom Hiddleston had fun with the physicality of, of, just, yeah, and, you know, then, then OB, like, gives, you know, zaps him and scares him and, yeah, which, I mean, would be nice if he told him, I'm going to start making experiments, other experiments, you know, but then it might not have the exact same result. You know, technically what he is doing is good science. You know, you, you try out different things until something works. You know, you're... Yeah. <laughs> and the... Um, See, yeah, yeah, you know, they talk about you getting the band back together, and let's see them, yeah, and, and, you know, OB says, so I did finally write a bestseller, which, I mean, kind of, yeah, again, he's, he's, he's so sweet, he's just, yeah. And then we have the, what on earth did I write? Okay, I'm going to have to move on from that because I have no clue what I wrote there. Oh, right, yes, now I, yeah. So yeah, um, one of the kid is trying to, to burn at least some of the toys. So someone watched Toy Story and is still determined to, to insist that Sid is the villain rather than just a creative kid. And, you know, he tells the other kid, go chase him down. If, he, if you stop him from burning the house down, you can get a puppy and a snake. I can appreciate that the kid realizes that his father is desperate and is trying to get multiple things out of this one instance. He made the leap to snake lickety split. Like that was very off put like there's so many in in between like cat hamster but no snake. So so that's yeah I don't, I don't think the kids are all right. And, yeah, I'm sorry I have to leave earlier. I was in a bit of a time crunch. You know, I love a good pun. And the, yeah, the, wow, how did you build a temp pad so fast? I mean, I wouldn't say that 18 months, I mean, 19 months was fast. Which, you know, yeah, because... It's not that he did build it in such a short amount of time. It's that once he finished building it, he went to exactly where Loki was. Which, you know, is of course important for this thing of, you know, can they... Yeah, can they save things? Can they go back in time to before it fell apart? And, yeah, we, we briefly see... Loki recruit, you know, Dr. B-15 and Frank. 
I have to wonder if those were originally longer scenes because it's, you know, we, we, th there are other longer, s yeah, they're the only two really, really short scenes in the entire episode that felt like there could hypothetically have been more. And we know that certainly in season one they had to, to you know, change around some stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, Sylvie did not forget anything. She's the only of them. And she takes him to get a drink, and there is a Zaniac video game. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, Brad, you, d you did good. It's, you know, it's a franchise now. It's not just one movie. And, let's see, yeah, and, and you know, as the show is wont to do, we have a debate between these two characters about choice about freedom and yeah I really appreciate it. I've I've you know when yeah the thing Sylvie says about you know you you wanna you wanna tell them that this thing exists and then say I mean I don't know if you wanna help make sure the world doesn't implode you can but I mean I'm I'm not forcing you to do anything I've always thought that was complete completely ridiculous obviously they're they're either gonna make the the ethical choice or they're gonna spend the rest of their lives miserable that they didn't you know so yeah and I really appreciate that she you know keeps him honest you know at, at first yeah he's he's like practically he is a comic book character you know I want to stop our villain no that's not what you really want it's just hap that happens to line up with your your goal with with what you actually want but that's not why you're doing this and <laughs> i really appreciate that mobius is trying to s don is trying to sell a jet ski to to the doctor like i mean i live in the city i don't have much use of, you know and and you know he says water and she says well like swimming and he's like no 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 jet ski jet ski I, okay swimming yeah what, whatever. Do you want a thinking man's dirt bike or do you not? And, you know, she's like, I, I live in the city. I don't have access to water. But if you live near a river, you could travel to, you could commute to work in style. It's just like, I don't think you're going to be able to sell her a jet ski, my dude. I don't think this is going to gonna happen. But just, yeah, um, Owen Wilson trying to sell jet skis to characters on Loki is everything I wanted and, and more. And, yeah, I don't love that Frank is, like, stealing stuff and, and uh, you know, apparently stole the Tempad, but they don't... Yeah, um, not really a fan of this thing of, oh, you know, once a criminal, always a criminal, kind of just... Yeah, but, you know, there's one episode left of the season, maybe Frank will really redeem himself, and this will actually have turned out to be a, a misunderstanding or something. And then we have the... Yeah, you know, they, they all spaghettify, but it's not real spaghetti, so it's very impasta and yeah Sylvie Sylvie buys a record and you know yeah I I, I know I've heard that the, the selling line I forget where but I've definitely heard that before somewhere this will either may this will either help or make you feel much worse some something like that which you know there's a lot of really excellent music that that's true of and, yeah, you know, near the end of the episode, Loki is yet again alone. I really appreciate that it's not, you know, he's not disappearing. He's the only one left. But that means he's the only one left. That means he's alone. And, you know, he managed to, to get control of 
the the time skipping so he's rewinding time and buying them more time so they can figure this out and and go fix it so yeah excellent ending really psyched to see what happens next it's gonna be very difficult to wait an entire week but yeah next week is the season finale I guess we'll see if it's also the series finale but yeah um, really really yeah um, right so yes uh, when it is the second to last episode the penultimate episode of a season I like to go over so yeah there's a very very strong lead in to the finale you know we have a very clear um, what's the word like a um, it's very clear what has to be stopped and there is you know this sense of yeah they might actually be able to do it but that doesn't mean it's gonna be a walk in the park like it doesn't feel like oh they could have resolved this episode they, they could have resolved the entire conflict with just a few more minutes you know preferably there's enough stuff left that they can fill an episode they don't have to pad and let's see the if I had if I there if there was one thing I don't know that I I wouldn't have minded more than one episode like this which I I guess it's possible that the finale will also have at least some of this but I'm not sure that it necessarily will because it seemed like like they had gotten everyone back together if I had to guess I would say the finale is not gonna have at least not very much of this thing of jumping between the timelines and having to bring everybody back up to speed and struggling with even controlling the time skipping you know, I you could definitely have had multiple episodes, and honestly, maybe there originally was. Maybe there was more than one episode like this, and that's why him recruiting Frank and the Doctor are such short scenes. But yeah, um, right, and and you know, yet again, the the cast do fantastic embodying these completely different characters, and. I think that might be, you know, Owen Wilson playing Don feels like other Owen Wilson characters we've seen where Mobius, I didn't really feel like I'd seen Mobius in anything else I'd seen Owen Wilson in, but it was a lot of fun, certainly, and yeah, um... I don't know if I have anything pithy to end this on. Um, right. I, I liked this, this note of, you know, science is about how and what, and fiction is about why. 